It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! You're 
anonymous circus pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did. Read the chapter. Still, you should have asked but if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the?
right. <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. <laughs> Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I, I smell it. Ghouls. I'm too <laughs> Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how those creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Let's go. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> you gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going.
It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Faster. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. 
And seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Thanks for everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. One more. There are four factions. Four what? Factions! Teams! Suits! Looking for a woman. Ugh. <sighs> Like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Don't generally drink with strangers. Come. I know this to be a vile place. You might down a little glass merely to aid digestion. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Magic. Drink 
is a power. Have much work to do here. Quite. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Goltais Griffin is after. must requisition the ship. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak! Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died, look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait, a specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actor. Loar in Eidfaith. 
I am my data. I struck a certain number. Heard of the Flyhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. <laughs> Trails fresh. His love just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them? Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on! These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt. Too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me.
was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. A camp. is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. Whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars... something something. 
Ah, good to know the black ones are looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Come on, Roach. That's it, Roach. Vesemir. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor, hunting that zoogal in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. Me grand told me about the Smith boy. And I had been missing one day, so folk nabbed a witch that was hunting nearby. Started poking Let's go! When he started twisting and squirming, so worm bam, they knocked his head off.
stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Care Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Care Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes, well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Stop talking, got a griffin to kill. Watch out! It's about to dive! Could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the griffin's head to the black ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. <laughs> 